Well, hi there. My friend Bidey and I are here to share some reflections with you. Now, you know, Bidey doesn't have that many reflections, being blind and deaf and short-lived, and, and, and besides, he's eating, so I'll go first. For many, 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 many years, I, Georgette Spelvin, have been actively involved in the rescue and rehabilitation of a, a wide variety of animals. And I've loved them all. Pretty much. Pr pretty much. Um, there have been thrilling successes and, and heartbreaking failures. Oh, there are always surprises and, well, some pretty dumb donkey mistakes. Mm -hmm. Most of which have been consistently, if, if haphazardly, recorded in some fashion. Mm -hmm. And the idea was to compile these you know, big and small adventures, okay, mostly small, into a book, which I would write just as soon as, and, and if only I could get a break from my energy-draining day job. That's right, and have, have uninterrupted time to focus on committing these colorful exploits to the page. Mm -hmm. So, Okay, some of you may have heard that there's a situation which has, has forced some people to take a leave of absence from their regular jobs. People like me. Mm -hmm. And this was followed up by enforced sheltering at home for, well, let's see, March, April, May, June, and well, we're into July now. That is a lot of uninterrupted time. Uh-huh. Really, it's everything I need. There's just one thing missing, and, well, it, I, I had it here somewhere, and it's motivation. I just don't know what became of it. Can anyone identify? Oh, there must be some of you out there who had plans and projects for this downtime that just aren't getting done. Am I right? Well, if you're one of those, you can tell me about it in the comments section and, well, we'll commiserate. In the meantime, um, I have decided to stop feeling bad about myself, uh-huh, and just simply, come here, darling, we don't want to go over the edge. Well, at least not in that way. It's a little late in other ways. All right, um, we are going to tell you these stories as they come up, one at a time. Yeah, anything? Oh, I want a grape. Everybody loves a grape. Yeah. All right. Um, one, one at a time. No, oh, wait till you hear the story of the unhappiest meal McDonald's ever served. Uh huh. Okay. Well, that's coming up later. But in the meantime, let me leave you with a wee bit of pre-Christmas cheer. Okay. Why are eggs Benedict best served on a hubcap? You can weigh in on this if you want to. What do you think? Hmm? <laughs> oh no, it's not so the possums can get them. Oh, but that's pretty good. That's pretty good. No. Any ideas? I thought you'd never ask. Because there's no plate like chrome for the Hollandaise. <laughs> okay, okay, we're leaving. We're leaving. Oh my goodness, this has been going so long. So long. Um, all right, well, we will see you next time, and remember, stay safe, and we love you. Mwah. Most of you. Bye. Bye-bye.
What you looking for? Huh? What you looking for, baby? We'll find it.